Welcome everybody, quick update. These are the um, French Indian War, uh, French Marines, uh, Company de la Marine. As you can see, not done a great deal more on them. Just started to do their sort of bags and equipment and stuff. Just basically, um, well, basically base camps at the minute on the their webbing and well, webbing. I suppose it is webbing. Their um, weapons and equipment. Um, yeah, haven't got very far on those because I got distracted. But they are going to be completed. I'm not going to give up on finishing this. These two French Indian War forces. Uh, not far off them now, so. Despite being distracted, I'm still going to make sure I get them finished. Yeah, looking a bit rough at the minute because it's just, um, yeah, no, not much highlighting or anything done. Once you start doing equipment, um, like strapping and stuff, um, sort of leather equipment, um, I always find they'll dry up this. You know, until you actually get it all highlighted and uh, sort of detailed properly just looks a bodge at the minute but um, I'm sure they'll come through in the end usually do work out all right I always get to this sort of stage of a figure and think bloody hell what a mess but uh, yeah sure it'll be okay in the end so yeah nice big galloping major apart from him which is a uh, north star but yeah lovely figure so yeah, not much progress there, but slight progress and not giving up on them, because uh, yeah, I'm determined to finish them. What's distracting me is this. I think I showed you something last time. Um, started looking at 8th Army stuff. Uh, this is Perry. Um, Perry plastic, apart from that chap there. From the Desert Rat box set, I've actually done an entire, well, an entire, a 10 man uh, rifle section, or a 10 man section. Um, really enjoy them. Get these in so you can see them all in. Yeah, I absolutely love doing them. Uh, yeah, they're from the Perry Plastic Desert Rat box set. Lovely figures. Um, so they're all from that plastic box set, apart from this chap, who's a metal Perry miniature. Um, yeah, I love doing them. Uh, steam through them then for me as well. They, <laughs> we get ten done in, you know, probably about a week. I think that was. That's amazing the pace for me. But yeah, I really like them. Um, yeah, Perry stuff's really sort of nice and it's almost delicate, really sort of finely detailed stuff. I mean, compared to some of these, like Warlords, a bit chunkier. Yeah, there's just sort of more fine detail on these. I mean, I would say that possibly the the webbing on them is a bit shallow, as in the sculpt. It does feel as if you're sometimes having to paint it in yourself and the hair you do have to paint in yourself because these the way these are made up is um, the helmets go on separately so they've basically got bald heads so you have to sort of paint the hair in really um, but yeah absolutely love doing these I'm quite keen on them now actually so I think I should be pushing on with some more um, Made a bit of a mistake here with the Corporal. He's obviously armed with a Thompson, but I foolishly used an incorrect body because it's got a bayonet scabbard on there. Obviously with a Thompson he wouldn't have one. So, um, yeah, bit of a faux pas there, but maybe just fancied having something if you got in hand to hand. 
but yeah I think they're absolutely lovely figures look really good set and I found that um, well there's what 38 in the set um, seems to be a lot of variety more variety than seem to get with the uh, sort of warlord box set I mean I've done this one 10 man section here and there are sort of arm pair I must have about four different arm pairings that I haven't even used so um, yeah I think you can get still a lot I mean all these look completely different I think you can get you know still another good four totally different so a lot of a lot of variety in the set really nice um, colour wise now you get a always get a leaflet in the Perry box sets got this one here um, showing you the makeup of a platoon there's the HQ what I've noticed is I'm assuming they've done it for a reason I mean Perry's a pretty accurate on the uniform stuff but you can see like some of them like sergeants um, radio operator there the corporals they've all got like same colour shorts as their tops whereas all the riflemen apart from the sort of Bren gunner assistant have got slightly different colour shorts now I thought I've done the usual like just got into paintings of not really on research I just thought right yeah I've got to paint want to paint these now I want to get on with it you know I want to I like reading but sometimes it just gets in the way of doing stuff so I thought Perry must do that for a reason maybe maybe that was the sort of uniforms of the time um, so what I ended up doing uh, sort of abiding by that my officer I've done all in the same tone. I actually use Vallejo Dark Sand for the uh, for the uniform on these. But my rifleman, well, apart from him, who's the LMG gunner assistant, he's got. The same colour pale shorts. Yeah, did the uniforms in um, Vallejo Dark Sand. But for the sort of regular riflemen, I did their shorts in uh, Middlestone, Vallejo Middlestone. So it's a more slightly yellowy colour. At first I wasn't sure, but then I ended up, I, I did one as a test and I quite like the look of it. Um, slight two-tone there. I mean, in fact, this figure here is made of the four different colours. He's got dark sand for his helmet and top, middle stone for his shorts. The webbing is all uh, Vallejo um, German camo beige. And then the socks are US Earth Tan. I think. Let me just check that. No, sorry, US Field Drab. And then their anklets are cam camo beige again. But um, yeah, so basically, that like this rifleman's made up of four different colours, and um, but still the overall look is of a desert uniform, which I thought using too many colours, it's not going to look right. But it's still got an overall desert feel about everything. So really happy with how they came out. So uh, I'm going to continue that, like do the off, basically follow that uh, painting guy they've got there. Give some of them pale shorts and some of them uh, yellowy shorts I mean in this one the actual HQ lieutenant has got more yellowy shorts now he's obviously going to have like a um, US field drab top 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing the way I've done it there basically. Right how it came out. Uh basing is focus is Luke's APS um Mediterranean soil. I was gonna go with I've got arid, but it looks a bit too brownish. Um I thought this uh Mediterranean soil got nice bits of bit of green in it, so obviously it's due for you know Italy, Mediterranean, Sicily, all that sort of stuff. But also still looks nice and deserty as well. And then the tufts are from Tajima. They're um I think that one is what they call blasted heath. And some of the other ones are just basically different sizes of uh Tajima brown tufts. I've got to put an order in with them soon because I'm getting low on everything to be honest. Um, and they do a nice looking set of kind of desert shrubs which will be good to put on some of their bigger support bases. But yeah, I really enjoy doing these. Um, say really nice fine sculpts. Um, happy with the overall look. So yeah, I'll be pressing on with them. Gonna still, like I say, still going to do the French Indian War stuff, but I think for a while this Desert War stuff is going to be um, probably my main project. I think uh, I bought. I had actually got an order uh, over a week ago. Some more um, Perry stuff. You know, all the metal stuff. Comes in these you know, little little boxes. I got a few more vehicles from them. Uh, their vehicles are really nice. Um, got a nice looking ambulance. The Germans um, radio truck for the British. Um, yeah, I'm really keen on it at the minute. And I've also put together the HQ section. These are all made up of a plastic set again. Um, apart from him, he's a metal uh, officer, metal corporal. He's come from, I think, one of the LMG sets because you get um, one of these little box sets here. Where I, uh, you know, one of these little box sets here comes as you get two LMG teams, so four blokes, and then you get two officers with them as well, so I thought I'd use him. Um, yeah, this made up the plastic set, it's the two inch mortar. I've made up the plastic set as well. Uh, Anti-tank rifle. Obviously the radio operator. Always my favourite figures, radio operators and medics, love them. As I said, metal sergeant he'll be. And the lieutenant, or lieutenant, I always say, I always say it the American way, lieutenant. This chap has got a... Where have I put this? Are we going to? No, probably not. Yeah. Got a Wolseley helmet because um, when I had this initial sort of spend, or well, when I initially bought some of the Desert Rat stuff from uh, Perry, I bought a couple of boxes of different hats. Um, I got the these Wolseley ones, so I thought he'd, he could have one of them, makes him stand out a bit more from the regular troops. Um, and I got the lemon squeezer they call them which i believe would be what the new zealanders wore the only problem was with that this hat was the depression on the underneath wasn't deep enough i had to mess around trying to hollow the hole out because these are metal helmets i had to sort of try and hollow it out for it to sit better because it was just like sitting on top of his head so that was the only Sort of disappointment there with them is you got. I don't know what the lemon squeeze are like, but this Wolsey one, it was yeah, the, the, 
compression is just not um, deep enough. So you've got to mess around holding it out a bit more. But uh, yeah, looks good. Um, yeah, nice. Also, all these plastic ones are all on metal washers just to give them a bit more weight. So yeah, that's where I am. Um, one other thing I've st for the very British, uh, very British Civil War started doing this bloke. He's a woodbine design for, uh, through Griffin Beast, World War One trooper with Royal Navy cap on, and he's going to be um, part of the unit that represents the uh, Prince Albert faction in very british civil war and he's like a naval officer so i thought i'll go for navy blokes so yeah he's going to be in the sort of dark blue which i'm using um foundry's french napoleonic blue triad because it's a nice dark blue so yeah he's going to be in that and then he'll have like uh, khaki or i don't know if i'm going to do khaki or camo beige for the wedding and equipment might do the bags kind of more khaki, but do actual strapping, uh, beige. But yeah, hopefully they'll and they're gonna have a paint the purple armband on because that's what they wear apparently. So yeah, that's where I'm at the minute. Um, yeah, currently quite keen on the old, um, you know, back into World War Two, but. A desert theatre for, for me this time because I've uh, never actually painted any before. I'm uh, really enjoying them. Like I say I absolutely love these Perry figures. Uh, so sort of nicely, nice and finely detailed, really nice stuff. A bit tricky to paint because they are so fine, but kind of rewarding in the end. So I was happy with how they've come out. And happy, like I say, about the um, the uniform. As you can see there, two different chaps there. Say so four colours on some of them and it's, uh, it still gives the overall impression of a desert uniform. So I'm um, quite happy with how it's turned out. His eyes are knackered. Sort of. Sort of fill that in there that he's got a very big blotch under his eye. Put a bit of flesh tone in there. Yeah. Anyway, hope you like those. Um, hope there'll be more Desert War stuff from me. Well, there will be. Um, but yeah, thanks to everybody subscribing, watching, commenting. Uh, and take care, everyone. See you later.